What's up, YouTube? So I want to show you another way to make that foresty sound that I made uh, with Arturia's Modular V and then in Serum. I want to show you another really nifty piece of software that's actually free at the moment. I'm not sure how much longer it'll be free, so I'm going to try to get this video out as soon as possible, but I'm going to post a link in the description where you can grab it. Anyway, let's dive in and have a look. <laughs> So the software that I'm talking about is called Voltage Modular Nucleus. Um, essentially what Voltage Modular is, is it's like a modular system for your DAW, um, but it's got like various kind of preset things that make things a little bit easier. It departs itself a little bit from like your traditional modular environments, but still offers you enough control so that uh, you don't feel limited in any way. So it still feels like very much a modular system. The thing with Nucleus though, is it's the kind of watered down version of the system so to get a sort of all-encompassing system going you will kind of have to buy a couple of modules but that being said is using the free modules you can get some pretty interesting stuff out of it so i want to show you guys a couple of really cool stuff that's built in here and um yeah recreate the sound that i made in the foresty sound tutorial so the one thing that kind of differed from the serum version and from the modular v version was the ability to kind of stack up those sample hold modules um, which you can do within uh, Voltage Modular over here. So what I want to do is let's actually just pop in one uh, sample hold module for now. One thing you'll notice here is it doesn't actually, uh, the system doesn't actually have a random generator, but the sort of traditional modular way of creating randoms was using noise. So what you do is you actually just patch a noise input into the sample hold generator uh, what I actually want to do is let's just pop in an oscilloscope so we can see what's going on. Um, let's just patch the noise directly into the oscilloscope so we can see what's happening. And zoom right in. So as you can see, uh, we can actually just boost up the volume a little bit to get more dynamics. So as you can see, noise is just random voltages at a very, very high frequency, and that creates that kind of static sound. And so let's say, for example, patch this out and patch the output of this sample hole generator in there. So now what it's doing is it's basically, you know, at the intervals of this rate, which is five hertz at the moment, what we're doing is we're grabbing a sample of the voltage and then spitting it out here. So as we increase this, you'll notice that we get more sort of random control. Here we have an external trigger. So much like uh, in the Arturia Modular V, we can trigger it using a clock or a gate or something like that. Um, I'm going to get into that just now. One thing that this doesn't have, though, is it doesn't have the glide option. But that is a separate module, also still available in the free version. And we can basically stack input to output over here like this. So essentially, we've created one sample hold generator with a glide option. And on this one, to get that kind of exact uh, sound that we created in the previous uh, video, um, what we're going to want to do is trigger this at a clocked rate. So I'm not quite sure how to get a clock into voltage modular, um, but so far the easiest way that I've found is to just kind of draw in MIDI notes. Um, so let's draw in 1 over 16s, and let's just make sure they're quantized just in case, and then duplicate them all the way across. And now let's just check if we've got uh, triggers coming in here. Cool. So now what we can do is we can create like a sequencer and then send these triggers uh, into the external clock here and switch external clock on. And we can actually go like play, stop, and then play gate, we want to reset. No, play, we want to reset. So 
So we can use the sequencer to either sequence uh, modulations or uh, trigger a clock. So we can send this into this, switch external trigger on. And then let's just turn this back on here. It's a bit of a roundabout method, but we have created a clocked sample hole generator. So here we can actually change the glide. So we're not actually hearing the sound yet, we're just looking at this oscilloscope. So one thing um, that I've noticed about the sort of basic filter that comes built into uh, voltage modular is it's not, uh, it doesn't self resonate or doesn't self oscillate. So we can just use an oscillator on a sine wave, uh, much like we did in Serum. And then let's just put, uh, we can use the frequency mod because I mean, we're not really doing some uh, like tuning and that kind of stuff. It's just all mostly random based. Uh, let's put in an amplifier, send input, send output to both. So, what we're going to want to do is let's set this gate to control the CV in here. Let's just uh, attenuate it a little bit. So we can also put in a spring reverb just to kind of uh, lighten the sound up a little bit. It's a little bit harsh. Uh, just change this to outputs here. So the cool thing about this is like each of the inputs kind of has a poly system. So you can stack them up and it kind of works it all out within the modules, which is a pretty cool system. <laughs> So again, what we can do, um, like I mentioned earlier, we can set these uh, quantize, uh, we can set these CV values to send to something like the frequency. So what we can do also is we can uh, create a second sample hold, uh, second sample and hold module by holding Alt and uh, dragging it, and then let's send this output to the input and then to the output, and we want to set this to internal. <laughs> And then let's uh, monitor, using the oscilloscope, let's monitor this version here. To do with this kind of thing, let's create like a uh, kind of percussive sound, uh, not let it ring out as much. So let's pop in a envelope. 
over here. Uh, trigger it using the trigger and then send the envelope out into another amplifier. So let's just duplicate this guy. Cool. So that gives you lots of variations to play with. And yeah, like I said, this is all done with the free stuff that's included within the software. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wonder if I can actually save this preset and then upload it to my Patreons for my $5 supporters. Yeah. So if you want to know what that's all about, check out the link that's going to be somewhere on the screen right now. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. A big thanks to IDM Mag, proud supporters of the dance music scene and my channel.